Good morning and rise and shine intro to gaming operations team. I hope all is well. All right, this video finds each and every one of you and yours in amazing health and spirits. All right, having an outstanding October thus far, but having a magical, magnificent Monday as well. All right, Professor Bellino, touch and base here, reaching out to you. Thank you for registering for the course. You're going to have an educationally entertaining good time, yes, throughout the next eight weeks. But be mindful. All right, I'm going to get a chance to show you the professional side of the gaming industry, the technical side of the gaming industry, and all basically the circumference. Everything inside and out truly get you comfortable, confident, not just about your hospitality and gaming, how they correlate, how the relationship works, but how you truly could see yourself possibly in the near future, you know, looking in where you'd say, you know, where can I make the most money for position hotels, professor? Where can I make the most money working at events or the opportunities in event space, or event planning, hotels, resorts, or food and beverage, or I could go on and on. And that truly is a gaming environment. Uh, you look at the pay scale, you look at the opportunities, uh, and you look at the significant amount of just, you know, to me, uh, promotion-wise, throughout basically uh, a company or business, you look at the casino gaming environments, all right? Harris, Caesars, all right? You look at MGM, all those basic casinos are all interconnected. They're all open 24-7. They all have opportunities for you galore if you choose to basically maybe move to one of those locations. But again, they know in particular, just as I'm going to teach you throughout the next few weeks here, you look at Vegas, Las Vegas in the back, amazing place. You might know it as Sin City, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yes, I get all that. But truly how Vegas makes their money, which no one really knows about. It's the underlying saying is Vegas makes their money on convention space, how they run it out to certain conventions, a majority of all conventions, and how they make money off hotel rooms there because of those conventions. Everybody kind of goes for the food, they go for the entertainment, the shows, the gaming, by the, sit by the pool, yes. I get all that. But Vegas makes their money, makes their hay off convention space and hotel rooms. So I'm going to get into that more as always as we get in the weeks to lay out. History of Vegas, where Vegas was, where it is now, where it's going in the future. All right, and that's what I want to make sure. This course, it's going to be fun. It's a GPA booster. Yes, you don't even need a textbook in this course, but be mindful. This course truly, all right, can I open you uh, to the possibility where gaming and the environment in particular, maybe something personal. You just might want to go on a cruise ship someday, Professor, and I want to know how to learn how to play a couple games. Or particularly, you might want to look into the ventures here in Florida, where's gaming at, where's gaming in the states that are located near us, Georgia, the Carolinas, Alabama, Mississippi, you name that. Or you might want to venture out to Vegas or venture up to Atlantic City over in Biloxi, uh, you name it across the board. So I'm going to show you professional opportunities, personal-wise, how to play some of the game, maybe set you up for success with winning. Uh, again, I'm a pit boss, I'm a dealer, I've been a slot of 10, I've been in the gaming industry for a significant amount of time, right when I graduated college. So I know the ins and outs of most of the games, if not all the games. <laughs> How do you win at all of them? I can give you a strategy. I'm not sure that strategy is going to work, though. So that's the only little caveat there. I can help you out percentage-wise and probability-wise, but can I guarantee that you win? I guarantee that you have a good time in the course. That's pretty much it. But thank you so much for registering the course. It means a lot to you. we got a lot of students here. we got over 20, which is always a good thing. Again, I appreciate it. It's a great day to be not only a particular part of this class, but part of this curriculum here at Daytona State. At Daytona State in general, all, all of us Falcons flying high. I think that's truly uh, something special. And it resonates hopefully inside, not just you, but also in particular, all of our professors here, all of our teachers here. We all want to buy into this. We all want to get based at the mindset, whether it be virtually in the cloud of Falcon Online or something live. We want to work shoulder to shoulder hand in hand with you. We're willing to do all that we can to make sure it's done the safe way as well. All right. Enjoy the course. Uh, get a chance when you get it uh, logged in here. Uh, find a way uh, throughout in particular question concerns. Reach out to me. All right. Call me. Come see, you know, if you want to physically come to campus, you're more than welcome to sit in my office. All right. But be mindful. You could do the Skype, the Zoom, all that. All right. Message, email, whatever maybe correspondence wise you want. Let me know. All right. I'm always here for you, team. All right, I wish you the best again. Have an amazing and epically awesome semester. Day one, week one of eight. So get on it early and often, as I like to say. I know we got the Halloweens and you know Thanksgivings and the Christmas is upcoming here. So try to make sure, you know, due diligence wise, look at the weekly to-do list. Be proactive, all right? Be preventative to procrastination, <laughs> all right? And get on top of things, all right? Get the wind behind you, sun on your shoulders, all right? Get some smiling going ear to ear, all right? I wish you the best. Thanks again, team. Have a good one.